Um, here I'm making a video for somebody on cichlids of Alaska to try to kind of explain how filtration works for aquariums. This is an Emperor 400. Um, it's made by Marineland. Uh, it's configured a little differently than what you get out of the box. Um, the way most filters work, there's a filter pad here and here on the marine land. Now, some aquariums, they'll just be like one side. And you'll have a filter pad, but it's all essentially the same. Um, your water gets pumped up, comes through here, and then goes through your filter pad. Now, this isn't a pad, this is a basket, but it's full of polyfilts doing the same exact thing. It's removing particles from the water. Um, so your water then goes through here, removes the particles, cleans it essentially, and then your dirty water, or sorry, your, your, your strained water, I should say, then goes through the biological filter or portion of your filter. Now what I did was a lot of people buy these baskets and they put the cartridge here and they'll put the basket over here because there's these little slots. I don't know if you can see them. And then they put their media in here and that adds extra biological. I've done a little different. Put my filter floss or polyfilts, uh, same stuff they use in, in pillows and that kind of stuff. That removes my particles. And then I put lava rock in here um, which acts as my biological. The good bacteria grows on the lava rock and on this bio wheel. And what happens is as the water goes through, it eats the ammonia. And there's other bacteria in here that eat nitrates, that turn the nitrate nitrites into nitrates. So what happens is it goes through, the one bacteria turns it into nitrites, it goes back into the tank, gets sucked back up, um, sometimes it happens before it goes out, but then the, the other bacteria eats the nitrites, turning them into nitrates. Does the same thing happens on this bio wheel as it does in here. The only difference is there's different kinds of bacteria that grow on the bio wheel that grow in the water. The, the bacteria that grows on this bio wheel, they need exposure to air. It, they use up more oxygen to process. And so essentially by having the anaerobic and aerobic bacteria going on, it's almost like double filtration biologically. Um, so s essentially, all filters run the same way. Even car or even uh, canister filters, even though they might not have this, the, the, the bacteria that grows in the bio wheel is just submerged, it works the same way. It filters the particulates, and then it has bio filtration, which um, a lot of times is ceramic media, which actually eventually I'll be going to ceramic media for this too. But um, anyways, it does the same thing. It turns it into nitrates. Now nitrates are still bad for your fish, but it's kind of like the lesser of two evils. It's not at nearly as bad as the ammonia. So that's why when you are running a tank, you should have zero parts per million or zero ppm of ammonia and zero parts per million of nitrites. Now your nitrates, and, I, and some people will argue on this, in my opinion, should be no higher than 10, maybe 15. Um, when my tanks get to like 10 or 15, I do a water change. Now it takes about a week and a half to get to that point, so I just do a water change literally um, once a week. It's usually on either a Saturday or a Sunday, I'll go and I'll do all my tanks, I do a complete water change. Because what happens is, you get a buildup of the nitrates from your bacteria eating your ammonia builds up in your tank. Um, so when you do a water change, you're actually removing the nitrates from the water and you're adding clean, fresh water in. Now, some people, I don't have this problem, but I've heard of some people actually testing their water out of the tap and having like five or 10 nitrates already. If that happens, you know, it's kind of up to you. Um, you can either go and use RODO water, which is kind of a bit ridiculous in my opinion, or you could probably wait till you're up to 20 parts per million. Again, that's, in my opinion, not good, but it's not as bad as, say, 50. <laughs> um, anyways, that's just kind of a rundown on how the, a filter works. Kind of gives you a basic uh, insight on what's going on in a filter and why you want to change your mechanical, but not your biological. Um, Sometimes, though, I will, I will, I will, I don't know, I can't remember if I said it or not. Um, sometimes, if you're using like a sponge or even like the lava rock, they'll clog up. And so sometimes you want to take that out, put it in a bucket with some of your aquarium water and kind of agitate it to, to kind of knock off that, that debris. And uh, 
you know, once you do that, go ahead and put the back in, put your sponge in or put your, your media back in, but you don't want to clean it. You don't want it like sparkling clean. You just want to knock the debris off to allow the water to flow through or around and allow that bacteria, you know, the, the fresh bacteria to grow on there. So, um, anyways, I hope that helps. Uh, that's it.